Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to talk about Death House, which I just watched on Netflix. This film is about a maximum security prison where they house the worst of the worst, specifically the five evils, which they keep in the lowest level of the facility, nine levels, they're on ground level, and they are trying to use a concoction of drugs as well as virtual reality to kind of transform these people from the monsters that they are to actual functional people in society. We meet two agents, Novak and Boone, who are taken on a special kind of... It's not necessarily a tour as much as it is they get to recreate their own scenarios that they have uh, served their posts in order to... Um, it's really a strange convoluted idea here. Like they had to do some horrible things in order to get this kind of reward, which is still kind of horrible in itself. And of course, while things are, are going on, something sets off a bomb that just takes out all of the power in the facility, which if you're trying to keep your inmates docile by pumping them full of stuff and using electricity to supply power to VR technology, um, they're, they're going to snap out of it and terrible things are going to happen. And that's like pretty much the gist of this movie. We're trying to get out safely and save people and everyone's trying to riot and eat each other and do horrible things. And our main, uh, antagonist, Sieg, who's played by Kane Hodder, I love Kane Hodder, is trying to go all the way down to ground level to get to the five evils. Gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? There's, it's, it's like literally everyone you have ever seen in a horror movie is in this movie. I wish Jeffrey Combs was in this movie because I love him. There's, you know, very notable actors in this film that act in as well as have uh, producer credits and that's nice to see for sure. Um, I felt like Kane Hodder did a really good job. I feel like he typically doesn't get a lot of roles where he has a lot of dialogue so that was really nice to see. Um, I just, I, I loved everyone's faces popping up and just being like, oh, oh, and like some of them are no longer with us like Sid Haig and Gunnar Hansen which makes you feel sad and nostalgic, but also joyful to see them, of course. Um, I guess I'll just go on to my dislikes. As I said, this is such a star-studded film, and I feel like they kind of just squandered it because I had huge issues with the pacing of this movie. There were scenes that felt like they drug on forever and just didn't seem like they were a really pivotal part of the plot. And I don't understand why they were in there. I don't know if maybe things were edited and they cut out things that they were really important to. So now we're just left with like what seemed like a half hour of dialogue and explanation for nothing. Like they built up a lot to get nowhere. Um, it just, some of the dialogue felt very forced, particularly I felt like from the agents. I just didn't really connect with their characters and I'm sure that they're not bad actors. It was just maybe the writing just wasn't, it wasn't there and maybe it was how it was cut. It just didn't work out. It's just, I don't know. It really took me out of it. I really, really, really wanted to enjoy this movie, but for most of it, I was just confused as to what was actually going on, you know, it felt like it took a very long time to build up to the action, you know, where this is happening and, you know, you, you get some explanation of what's, what the characters are trying to do, what the bad guys are trying to do. And I just felt like they kind of skirted around it the whole time and I never really got like a solid story, which... Like, I'm not even mad. I'm just, like, disappointed, which I think hits way harder, like, when your dad's like, well, I'm not mad at you, but I'm just disappointed, and you're like, ouch. 
just this high caliber of talent from the actors and this is what we got it's just sad like it's really sad I wanted something you know that would have me on the edge of my seat that I would just you know kind of be rooting for the bad guys because you know those are all the the icons of horror I suppose and I just I it wasn't there another thing that really took me out of it was the effects the effects are not good there are some practical effects but they just it was that weird like hokey practical effect intestines moving around on their own and you're just like mmm or that effect when they're reaching into a body and they're just kind of like squishing the gore part like I wanted more to it I felt like they had the budget to do really good practical effects and they did not they did a lot of really really bad CG effects which obviously I, I'm not a fan of and if I can't get into a movie because the plot isn't very clear and then you're gonna throw really bad CGI it I'm just confused I'm watching it at no part was I engaged really which is a bummer they also used a lot of green screen which sometimes I don't pick up on because I don't have full vision if it's that bad that I picked up on it it must be pretty bad there was that weird glitch effect there was a lot of strobing which that's probably a personal thing that I have an issue with I have a retinal disease so if they're strobing it's gonna be harder for me to focus because going from very light to very dark I'm missing everything in between that's a personal complaint of course but just what why 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 I, I don't understand this could have been such a good movie and I feel like they squandered all of these talented actors just maybe it was a rushed thing maybe they had to get it out maybe it went through many hands I don't know it's just <sighs> I'm feeling real let down I'm gonna have to watch something that's a tried and true after this just to get my uh, my hopes back up um, damn. I'm, I'm sad. Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Um, I do like that they did a nice in memoriam to Gunnar Hansen at the end because he was a wonderful gentle giant that we, we all miss very much. Um, leave me some comments down below with your thoughts. What would you have changed in this movie to make it an actual cohesive film or a cohesive plot or something? throw me some comments down below I'd love to know um, if you have not please do subscribe to the channel I'd love to have you I forgot to rate the movie uh, I'm gonna give it like a one out of five because I love all of these actors with my entire heart and I don't want to offend them but like this movie's not good I'm sorry <laughs> Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if sometimes you laugh when you're anxious or feel awkward, because I'm an awkward giggler. Learn something new. Um, I think I said subscribe, like the video, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo reviews as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes, thanks to the Farsighted Network. Uh, please check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I will see y'all later. Bye.